All right, guys, if you love the Vampire Diaries or Twilight like I do, I am, was, or am a super fan, and I'm not afraid to admit it, but if you love them and you also love reading, this is the book for you. Blue Bloods by Melissa De La Cruz. If you haven't already read this, this is such a great book. It is the best like vampire series I've ever read, including um, The Vampire Diaries and um, Twilight. Um, even like going off like the movies and the shows of those, like this is the best vampire lore. Um, it's so fucking good. I literally can't take it. I have all the books. I'm missing one, but it's on my shelf. But um, yeah, it's so fucking good. And um, so if you like reading and you like romance like me and you want smut, unfortunately, this one doesn't have smut, um, which is the only reason I can't give it a 10, because if not, it would be a 10. But it is a slow burn. So if you love slow burn, like this is a series for you. It's so good. And it, like I said, it has the best vampire lore that I've ever seen. Um, it's just so cool. Okay, a little bit of a syn synopsis um so it's about this girl her name's Skylar she like some weird stuff's happening in her in her city or whatever in her school um she grew up in New York City it's a place in New York City and um there's like all these committee meetings and she ends up getting um invited to the committee and just to find out that the committee is all vampires so everyone that's anybody in New York City, like politicians, models, superstars, movie actors, like things like that, they're all vampires. And when they turn 16 is when they have access to their old, their past lives um, memories. Um, so it's not really like you stay the same age forever consistently. Um, you, you like reincarnate you know and so you're the same conscious but in a different body every time like new family whatever which is kind of weird but so good so good um and then there's like some weird stuff like with twins it's strange but it is very entertaining i love it so much this is the only book that i will reread to this day like i read this when i was like 14 or 15 and I'll reread this every two years, literally, since I've read it. I've read it every two years. And it's just so good. Like, even just talking about it, I want to reread it. Um, super, super good slow burn. <sighs> Especially, this is my favorite book in the series. It's um, the Masquerade one. Mm, I was eating this shit up. Like... Ooh, I could reread this one um, so many times. I will say that it is in four people's pers um, point of view. There's four people point of view. Um, but there's only like one main character. Like the other three are like her side characters. But they still like do stuff. I genuinely think that the author should have written like um, side books for the side characters. Um, but you know, when you, you gotta do what you gotta do, whatever, you know, it's done. What's done is done. So when I reread it, I only reread Skylar's point of view because I don't really care about the other girls. Um, and it all comes together like in the end. But if it's your first time reading it, you should read all the girls because yeah, like you could get the whole story and it's just like, there's so much information and so much plot and it's just so fucking good. I hope you guys read this and enjoy it i love it and if you like more um book videos let me know um because i love reading i love books and yeah love you guys bye